the budget debate is moving forward. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Pennsylvania State Representative Tom Killian. Thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. The governor put forward his budget proposal earlier this year, and there have been additional proposals put forward. Let's talk a little bit about the House Re Republican proposal. It was a $28.3 billion budget, but it doesn't take into account certain things like transportation funding or what may happen in the remainder of the session when it comes to things like privatization. Yeah, the House Republican Appropriations Committee, which I'm a member, felt important that we pass the budget now that could get to the governor's desk. Now, this is the beginning of a process, as you know, constitutionally ends by June 30th. Those other things that the governor wanted, and, and many of us support, transportation funding, pension reform, liquor, liquor privatization, may happen between now and then. But we want to pass a budget that met the needs of Pennsylvanians if those things didn't happen that we can meet our constitutional obligation, be done by June 30th, fund government going forward as best we could with the revenues we currently have. So you're looking at current revenues. You're not looking at what could potentially happen if something like pension reform move forward. Right. That would just be new revenue. And then we could readjust the lines within the budget to put more funding where, where we need it. But that said, with this budget we passed, as you mentioned, it's $28.3 billion. It's a, almost a $580,000 million increase over last year. We've restored funding for a whole host of things. We increased basic education funding, K through 12, by $100 million. We provided funding for 300 new troopers. We put mo additional money in for diabetes, ALS, sickle cell research. So, um, we refunded the, the conservation districts in our counties. So even with the limited resources and the revenues that have been flat for the last several years, we did a lot with this budget. We may be able to do more by June 30th, but at least we have something now that's a finished product. If we don't get the other three things got done, we can get it to the governor's desk and have a budget done on time. As you mentioned, you're on appropriations. Give us an idea as to what happened in the past few months as we have led up to this point where you're ending the, uh, nearing the end of the budget cycle. What happened in terms of hearings and the like? Yeah, well, we had many hearings. We had every department in front of the Appropriations Committee over a period of weeks to hear what they needed, well, what their needs were, where they thought they could save money, because it's not just about more money, it's also about trying to save money, which resulted in a governor, this followed after the governor put his proposed budget up. The bad thing was, unlike last year, revenues went down from the governor's proposed budget to, to the, uh, when it was time to pass the actual budget, went up last year, down this year. So we were in a tighter spot. We had to look to cut some. Now, by luck, the May revenue numbers came in and were actually up, and we're really now $102 million over, over, over the estimates by the revenue department. And even with only $100 million up, we were still able to put up $587 million more in the budget from cost savings and a host of other things. So you look at every facet of the budget, and as you mentioned, as a member of the Appropriations Committee, you heard from every department about their needs or potential areas to cut. And as we move forward toward that June 30th deadline, what negotiations still need to take place between the House and the Senate and both parties and, of course, the governor? Well, this budget will get out of the House, it'll go to the Senate, and then there'll be negotiations between Senate leadership, House leadership, and the governor. And then we'll be talking about the other things, if we can have pension reform, uh, the transportation, tr transportation bill, liquor reform, which could bring more revenue in, maybe even some revenue enhancers, and that could change the whole pot. And then we would then readjust the numbers, and a deal would be negotiated, and we'd pass a final budget hopefully by June 30th. However, that we felt in the Republicans and Appropriation Committee, what if that doesn't happen? We still have to, we have a constitutional duty to have a budget done by June 30th, so that's why we're, we're proud of this product that we have that could go to the governor's desk tomorrow. And a uh, very few seconds left, but as you mentioned, there is still the hope that you will deal with transportation infrastructure costs, pension reform, and the potential uh, final idea related to final uh, privatization. I think we need to deal with all three issues. Hopefully we can do it by the 30th. If we can't, we'll do it in the fall. Thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. We've been talking with Pennsylvania State Representative Tom Killian. I'm Jill Horner.